truth is, buying a new laptop isn't easy. There's so many things to consider. You could just jump on Amazon and type in laptop and then filter by price, size and customer rating. But if you're spending hundreds or even thousands of pounds on a new laptop, you want to make sure you're getting the right one for you and it's good value for money. So I have put links to some of my recommended laptops in the description below this video. In 2018, the gaming laptop scene looks completely different than it did 10 years ago. There are ultra light and ultra thin solutions that use NVIDIA's proprietary cooling design system, NVIDIA Max Q. While the clunkier, more powerful, traditional laptops are still there at their side. But which will give you the best performance for you? Well, in this video, we break down the top five best gaming laptops on the market this year based on price versus performance and situations they'll be used in. So regardless of whether you're looking for a budget option or the best of the best, we'll have an option for you. So if you are interested in finding out which gaming laptop will be best for you, stay tuned. As always, all the links to find the best prices and all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description down below. We always keep the description up to date with information you might not get a chance to mention in the video. So, for the most updated information along with updated pricing, be sure to check out that description. This list is in no exact order, so be sure to watch till the end so you don't miss anything. But without further delay, let's get into the video. First up is the Acer Aspire E15, the best gaming laptop under $500. Acer's Aspire E15 is made of sturdy black plastic with a dark gray matte lid that has a subtle crosshatch pattern and texture, along with a deck that looks like faux brushed aluminum. The notebook seems to have solid build quality because it didn't creak or buckle during my use, and the keyboard didn't show any signs of flex while typing either. The E15's keyboard offers a good typing experience that's free from any of the shallowness or flex we find on many budget laptops. The keys provide a full 1.5mm of vertical travel and require 64 grams of force to actuate combination which prevented me from bottoming out as I typed. The E15's 15.6 inch screen outputs at a sharp 1080p resolution with tones that are vibrant, though not always completely accurate and very limited viewing angles. If you don't mind carrying the Aspire E15 around, you'll really appreciate its long battery life. The laptop can last up to 8 hours and 30 minutes according to the manufacturer, which involves continuous surfing over Wi-Fi. The Aspire E15 offers a great combination of solid performance, good battery life, and strong usability for the money. You'd be hard pressed to find another 15 inch laptop with features and build quality this good, selling for anywhere near 500 bucks. Next up is the Acer Predator Helios 300, the best gaming laptop under 1000 bucks. Firstly, there are two types of Acer Predator Helios 300s on the market, the 17 inch and the 15 inch. These two types have many minor differences, but the only outwardly noticeable difference is the screen size. The Predator's body is built from black metal, and across most of its surfaces, it's treated with a matte finish aside from the lid, which has a subtle brushed effect. Its lid features red slashes and a bold logo, and the back edge houses air vents with red borders. There's more red around the keyboard and trackpad, and another Predator logo beneath the screen. The keyboard gets gamer-friendly red highlights on the WASD keys and basic red backlighting. The keyboard has a sturdy base, and the buttons are quiet and consistent. With impressive typing speed, and the trackpad, while solid, is not anything special. The laptop sports a superb display, so the images don't get washed out when you're not looking at it straight on, and the resolution is standard Full HD. The speakers on the laptop are on the front of the laptop facing downward, and while that may wash out the sound somewhat, the sound quality still comes out good with a solid bass. The battery life is solid, lasting up to 6 hours of use, with no issues along the way. All in all, Acer's latest machine offers solid 1080p gaming performance, good design, a solid screen, and is a fantastic gaming laptop for under $1000. Next up is the Acer Predator 17, a great mid-range gaming laptop. The Predator's chassis remains as ostentatious as ever. Unlike competing gaming laptop makers, such as Gigabyte and HP, Acer has intentionally designed the Predator to be as over-the-top as possible, delivering a 17.3-inch device with red flourishes and giant speaker grills and fan vents. The unsubtle looks aren't helped by the Predator's 3.5 kg weight and 40mm thickness, which are outright ridiculous, even by gaming laptop standards. Build quality is the only area where the Predator feels perhaps a little compromised. The chassis is generally solid, but the screen hinge noticeably flexes if you put a little pressure on. The wrist rest surrounding the keyboard also feels slightly cheap, and flexes when met with heavy typing. Nothing major, but worth pointing out all the same. The keyboard is otherwise pretty good. The fully backlit RGB main keyboard has five programmable macro keys along its sides. FPS gamers will also be happy to know the keyboard is programmable, thanks to the inclusion of Acer's Predator Sense software, which lets you create color patterns to match specific games' control schemes. The Predator 17 screen also hasn't seen any significant changes. The 17.3-inch panel has the same Full HD 1920x1080p pixel resolution, 16 to 9 aspect ratio, and is similarly G-Sync enabled. If you're interested in updated pricing or want to go more in-depth on some of the features of any of the items mentioned in this video, be sure to check out the links below. I didn't want to bore everyone with every single spec on these laptops, especially because most of them are open to customization, but they are quite important to get a full understanding of the laptop. So I would recommend those interested check out the links in the description to see a complete list of specifications along with pricing on each laptop mentioned. 
Next is the Asus ROG Zephyrus GX501, best value per dollar. The Zephyrus laptop sports a brilliant and innovative design, a color-rich display, amazing speakers, and most importantly, stellar gaming performance. The laptop has an innovative design, which sees the bottom panel drop down like a ramp for better airflow. The mechanism engages automatically as you open the Zephyrus, creating a 6mm gap, which makes the laptop have cooling similar to a laptop with a far greater thickness. The laptop also has a uniquely squared off design for the metal chassis and an all-black exterior with copper trim. The keyboard feels roomy with large keys despite having to share space with the side-oriented trackpad. There's a decent amount of travel when hitting the keys, and a soft mechanical note to go with it. Since there isn't any room for a palm rest, the laptop can include a rubber wrist rest that sits right up against the laptop's front lip. Two speakers sit on the side of the keyboard, delivering loud and balanced sound, great for listening to anything from music and movies to explosions and games. Furthermore, although the screen is only full HD, you'll be able to make full usage of all the Zephyrus' overwhelming power to run games at an incredible frame rate. The greatest failing this laptop has is its battery life, which is not at all unexpected due to its excellent power. The computer's battery lasts around 2 hours of use while the graphics card is active. All in all, the Asus ROG Zephyrus GX501 is an incredible laptop, and one of the absolute best laptops on the market, and you'd be hard pressed to find a laptop that has more value per your dollar. Last but not least is the Razer Blade Pro, the best overall gaming laptop. The Razer Blade Pro is clad in black aluminum, with a bright glossy screen, matte black interior, unibody construction, and a pulsing keyboard backlight. It's also reliable, durable, and very heavy, weighing in at 7.69 pounds. The Razer Blade Pro features an ultra-low profile mechanical keyboard and an unusual but accurate trackpad. Typing on the Razer Blade Pro is snappy responsive and provides a satisfying click. The trackpad is smooth and precise, with support for Windows Precision Touchpad, but its defining feature is its location, seated on the right-hand side of the keyboard. The keyboard and trackpad both feature chroma lighting, with many customization options available in the Razer software on the laptop. The display is 17.3 inches, with a 4K display panel, meaning 4K resolution gaming is an option. Furthermore, colors are sharp and vibrant, while shadows are deep and dark without losing any definition. The Razer Blade Pro features a pair of speakers embedded on either side of the keyboard. They're narrow for a laptop of this size, but they still provide clear, rich sounds. With this laptop's absolute power, it can run the latest games at 4K resolution with a pretty playable frame rate. The laptop manages to keep running on battery for up to 3 hours before falling flat. The Razer Blade Pro is an absolutely incredible laptop for gaming, managing to play games at resolutions and frame rates that compete with the very best desktops on the market, all while being portable. Alright guys, that's all for this video. Hope you liked it, and if you did, please go ahead and give it a like. If you are new to the channel and you liked it, consider subscribing. We also do all kinds of videos like this for a number of products, all aimed to providing the best products and making purchasing decisions easier. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing and all the products mentioned in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope everyone has a great day, and until next time, I'll see you.